Welcome, I'm Dr. Melina Roberts, and I wanna answer the question for you today is, how do I remove heavy metals from my body? Now, really, this can depend on the results of the heavy metal tests that you had done. So once you have the results of those heavy metal tests, then we can design a program around it because it really depends on which metals are showing up and which metals are showing up as high. We also wanna know how well those kidneys are functioning because we know that chelation can be challenging on the kidneys, so we wanna make sure that the kidneys are functioning well before we do any sort of chelation program. So I suggest that you work with a practitioner that is properly trained in chelation therapy in order to set up this program for you. Because there's different chelating agents and depending on what's showing up in your testing, then we can design a individualized program that is designed for your individual needs. Now, there's different chelating agents that have affinities for different metals. For example, one that we use quite frequently is one called calcium disodium EDTA, and it has an affinity, a better affinity for aluminum and lead. Then we use another chelating agent called DMPS, and DMPS has an affinity for mercury. And then another chelating agent that we'll use is DMSA. And DMSA has an affinity for, uh, it's really considered more of a broad spectrum chelator. So these are different chelating agents and depending on what shows up in your testing, then we'll use these different chelating agents to help remove those heavy metals from your body. So in terms of setting up a chelation program, I think it's really important to understand that there are risks involved in terms of chelation. Now, one of them can be that what happens is that those chelating agents, they pull metals into circulation and then your organs of detoxification, mainly your kidneys, will help to filter those toxins and help to move those metals out of your body. Now, if we do this too quickly, we can actually make patients sicker. So we've gotta make sure that as we start to mobilize those toxins, that we don't do that too quickly, and that we make sure that their organs of detoxification are working well in order to help move those metals effectively and safely out of the body. Now, another risk factor is that as you pull those heavy metals, you'll also be pulling some minerals out of the body. So you wanna make sure that on any sort of chelation program that you're always putting minerals back into the body. So a remineralization of the body. You gotta make sure that we put the minerals back in or else you can leave a patient, they'll take, you'll take out those heavy metals but you'll leave them deficient in minerals which won't help their body to be able to function well. And another risk factor in terms of chelation is that the metals will tend to be detox out through the kidneys. So it does put an extra load on those kidneys. So you always wanna make sure that you're getting some sort of kidney support and kidney protection as you're doing chelation. This is an important aspect in terms of chelation and I think sometimes these are missing pieces and can sometimes affect why some people do really well on chelation and some people actually feel sicker on chelation is that they're not taking into consideration that we need to support detoxification organs, we can't move too quickly, we need to make sure that we're remineralizing, that we're supporting and protecting the kidneys. These are all really important aspects in terms of chelation. So when you're chatting with your practitioner who is properly trained in chelation, these are some of the things that you wanna be chatting about and making sure that you're taking care of. So thank you so much for watching. I encourage you to share this with your friends, to press the like button, to make a comment below, and until next time, continue to learn, 
grow and build health.